Hi everyone and welcome to Morning Devotions. I hope everybody's doing good this morning. I slept a little late this morning. Okay, uh, on our prayer request, Kim's friend Kim has to sell her aunt's house. Pray she finds a buyer. Penny's friend Vicky is home after having another heart attack. Pray she continues to recuperate and her health issues improve. Tweets has diabetes. Pray that she'll be the meds she'll be on won't have side effects or make her sick. Patty's son had hernia surgery and he's very sore. Karina's sister Laura is no better. Her lung is bleeding and has a clot. Uh, she's only 20 years old. Also pray for her boyfriend Jesse and her children Mariah, Sadie, and Jay. Pat Anderson needs prayers for the healing of her leg. She goes back to the doctor Tuesday. Brenda Hubbard asks for our continued prayers. Kathy Mulligan's grandson has an unspoken request. Jeff was in the emergency room Friday for shortness of breath and chest pains. His EKG and blood work was good, so they sent him home. Colleen's cousin, cousin Dwayne fell on ice Friday and really hurt his back. Beth's niece, her husband, and her toddler all tested positive for COVID. Pray they'll be okay. Our scripture of the day comes from Lamentations 3, 19 through 26. I remember my affliction and my wandering, the bitterness and the gall. I well remember them, and my soul is downcast within me. Yet this I call to mind, and therefore I have hope. Because of the Lord's great love, we are not consumed, for his compassions never fail. They are new every morning. Great is your faithfulness. I say to myself, the Lord is my portion, therefore I will wait for him. The Lord is good to those who, whose hope is in him, to the one who seeks him. It is good to wait quietly for the salvation of the Lord. Amen. And our devotion today is entitled, New Every Morning. My brother Paul grew up battling severe epilepsy, and when he entered his teenage years, it became even worse. Nighttime became excruciating for him and my parents as he'd experienced continuous seizures for often more than six hours at a time. Doctors couldn't find a treatment that would alleviate the symptoms while also keeping him conscious for at least part of the day. My parents cried out in prayer, God, oh God, help us. Although their emotions were battered and their bodies exhausted, Paul and my parents received enough strength from God for each new day. In addition, my parents found comfort in the words of the Bible, including the book of Lamentations. Here, Jeremiah voiced his grief over the destruction of Jerusalem by the Babylonians remembering the bitterness and the gall. Yet Jeremiah didn't lose hope. He called to mind the mercies of God, that his compassions are new every morning. So too did my parents. Whatever you're facing, know that God is faithful every morning. He renews our strength day by day and gives us hope. And sometimes, as with my family, he brings relief. After several years, a new medication became available that stopped Paul's continuous nighttime seizures giving my family restorative sleep and hope for the future. When our souls are downcast, may we call to mind that God's mercies are new every morning. Amen. How has God sustained you through the trials you faced? 
How could you support someone who's enduring a challenging time? God, your love will never leave me. When I feel spent and without hope, remind me of your mercies and compassion. And Lord, I want to pray today for everyone on our prayer list. Please help all of them with their different needs and help anybody out there that's been affected by the virus, Lord, and by the weather also. In the Lord's name I pray, amen. I hope you all enjoyed this morning's devotions. Please press that like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and hit that so you get all my videos as soon as they come out. And share with everybody, please. All right, everyone. Um, it's actually sunny out right now. Um, I thought it was supposed to stay rainy, unless it's supposed to later on. But it's sunny out right now, so I definitely want to get out there and walk if I can. I need to. I need to get some exercise in. So, everybody, thanks so much for watching, and I will see you a little later on on Morning Coffee Break. God bless.